News at 6 with Joe Perkins. Good evening. One day before the nation of Japan struggles with the second anniversary of its devastating earthquake and tsunami, a group of Japanese Canadian students are paying their respects in the closest place they could find to home. 35 Japanese students have traveled to Tofino and Uclulet this weekend as beachcombers continue to find evidence of the horrific natural disaster washing up on Vancouver Island shores. Members of the Japan Love Project are dedicated to cleaning up the debris and to saying goodbye to the ones they lost. CTV Scott Cunningham has more. Each step on the beach. This pedal bottle should be come from Japan. Because, Every uh, piece of debris Japan cleaned up brings this group closer to home and closer to painful memories. At first, I, we couldn't believe it, you know. So such a lot of people died from the earthquake and the tsunami. It will never be the same, I guess for any of us. 35 Japanese Canadians have descended on a small beach in Uculet. The sand here, the nearest place to their homeland on Canadian soil, where they can say goodbye to those left homeless, wounded and killed when an earthquake and tsunami changed Japanese history forever. Unfortunately, as time goes by, it is, we are probably going to forget what happened in the past, you know. But then it is important to like tell the people, you know, to, to keep telling what happened. Yep. Plastic bottle, Japanese writing. An ocean away, the people of Vancouver Island's west coast have not been spared the scars of that tragic day in March of 2011. Because every piece of debris represents a community or a family over there that really is an awful thing. Searching for debris is one way this group is saying thank you to Canadians. Another was making an offering to the sea itself. It hits home for the folks that are here helping clean the beaches today because um, they have family and friends and relatives um, back in Japan that were impacted. The Japanese Love Project chose Uculet and Tofino for their memorial as both communities have struck out on their own to prepare for a mass of debris scientists expect will hit our shores in only months. One way to show our appreciation to the world is actually us giving back. But also because from the sand here, they are offered a view and a chance to connect with a place so far away that remains so close in their hearts. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Uculet.